How you doing guys? Dragon Man here. And uh, in the last two hours I took out 30 cars, me and my crew. And uh, let me uh, show you what we're doing today. We're winterizing all my stuff, all the uh, hot rods. Uh, I do that every October. And uh, let me uh, name a few of these cars here. This is a 1949 Ford. Over here we got a 31 uh, Coupe, Chevy powered 350. Over here this is a uh, 28, all full fended uh, Coupe. Over here we got a 28 uh, sedan. Chevy powered. This is my uh, 58 Chevy. Beautiful, beautiful car. 1958. That's the first year automotive industry uh, put four headlights in the vehicles. This is my uh, 57. Uh, this is my uh, 56 Chevy. This is a 1928 panel uh, with a chop top Chevy powered. Okay. Uh, this has a flathead Mercury motor in it. This is a uh, 1927. Uh, Roadster, and this this was actually built in the uh, 60s. That's when you couldn't really buy hot rod parts. You had to make them. Okay, this is the oldest uh, hot rod I have. All metal body. Uh, it's a 1918 with a uh, Oldsmobile uh, motor in it, three deuces. Okay, over here, this is my beautiful uh, 34 Ford and uh, pickup truck, 1934 tunnel ram. Uh, this is a 1928 sedan, Chevy powered, beautiful car, air conditioning, leather interior. On the hill there, that's my uh, 26 uh, Victoria. And in front of that's my 55 Chevy with a uh, five speed manual transmission and a three to three stroke motor. Okay, this is my uh, chopped and channeled 29 coupe. And over here, nitrous injection on this one, 1931, 383 stroke motor. Uh, this is an all metal 1923 T bucket with a high performance uh, racing Ford motor in it with a blower. Okay, over here, this is a fiberglass 1923 and that's got a 383 stroke motor in it. Okay, this is my beautiful 1934 coupe. Uh, this has power steering, air conditioning, uh, it's got uh, all the luxuries in there. Uh, it's uh, automatic and it's uh, got push button doors, push button windows. Okay, over here, this is my 1955 Ford. It's got a Continental kit on the back. Uh, it's got nose and deck, it's got air conditioning, it's got hydraulics, and a 1992 uh, Cadillac interior. Okay, this is a all metal chopped and channel 31 with a uh, crate motor, 350 cubic inch. This is my uh, chop top 32 Ford. It's got a 454 Chevy motor in it. Okay, and back of that, we got a, a 1928 uh, Chevy powered uh, coupe, full fended. This is my uh, uh, chop top 1929. Just had it painted candy apple green by Spider out in Ellicott. And this has a uh, 427 uh, motor in it. This is an all metal, all metal tea bucket. A show winner, and that's got a, a small block uh, 350 Chevy motor in it. Okay, we come over here. We got a uh, 1926 uh, narrowed Ford rear. See that 16 inch wide uh, Mickey Thompson tires on the back. Beautiful paint job. It's got the dragon on the door there. Uh, 350 uh, cubic inch uh, Chevy motor. This one here has got a, a big block 502 cubic inch with a uh, let's see, 671 blower, a uh, chop top, it's got a narrowed Ford rear, 16 inch wide Mickey Thompson tires on the back. This is very rare, that's a uh, 31 Vickies, and then in front of that is my 1950 chop top uh, Ford, Chevy powered. Okay, let me show you what we do here. Let me grab a car and I'm going to drive it up here. Pretty cool, huh? That sounds great. Okay, this is called the pit stop. That's what I call it. And every October, this is what we do. We fill up all the uh, tires with air. We have a compressor here. Uh, we check the transmission fluid, the oil, 
Uh, we fill up what's very, very important is we fill up the gas tanks to the very, very top uh, so the condensation during the winter won't rust the top of the gas, the gas tanks. And I put uh, stabilizer, see stable, in uh, you know, all the gas, just a little bit. Uh, and this way it stops, uh, mixes with the gas, and when a, when a gasoline motor sits for a long time, uh, and they don't have stable in there, if it sits for four or five months, it's going to turn into shellac, and the shellac gets into the jets in the carburetor, and it does a lot of damage. So uh, that's what we do. We check the brake fluid. We put the dot three brake fluid in, uh, whatever the vehicle needs. So uh, we take care of them. We put them inside. Uh, the cars that I don't use for a long time, we're going to take the batteries out. Uh, about eight or ten cars that are my favorite that I do use in the winter, we put a trickle charger on it. Trickle charger. See, this here, it's only one and a half amps. See that? Volts. And uh, that'll keep the battery charged. If a battery uh, loses its uh, charge over the winter and it gets, you know, like under uh, 20 degrees, it could crack and all the acid will go all over the vehicle. So, uh, yeah, check this out. I just got my insurance cards for the year. 36 of them for all my hot rods. Look at that. See that? Every car I have has license plates on it and all insured in the state of Colorado. Hopefully next year the car shows will be a lot better. Uh, this year it was like a disaster. The COVID-19 really ruined everything. And I really missed the car shows. Okay, well, let's see. I have three idols that I really look up to. And uh, one is Elvis Presley. The other, he's been my idol ever since I was like 15 years old. The next guy is uh, Donald Trump. He's doing a great job. He's uh, making America great. Uh, the four years he was in office, he didn't mess with the gun laws. You know, we like that. And uh, I think uh, he'll definitely get in for another four years. If he don't, we're in big trouble. Okay, and the third person I look up to a lot, his name is Joe Rising. He lives in Elmont, New York. And uh, me and him, we like grew up together. We worked at the county garage for almost 10 years as mechanics and welders. And uh, I wish he was out here to help me with all these hot rods. Maybe one day he'll move here. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys, I hope you liked the video. It's another beautiful day in Colorado Springs. And uh, we got to start finishing uh, winterizing all these vehicles. And uh, I want to get them back into the oldies room uh, in the next couple hours. Hope you liked the video. Have a great day.